As you play through all the mods 9, you'll notice the more things you make, the more power you need. And eventually things take a lot of power that windmills won't cut it. So let's solve that using the power, the power mod. All of these things are primarily made out of lava, clay, and fiery stuff, right? So first we're going to make, we're going to place down our fun little energizing orb, and we're going to get cables all around in a 3x3 three three above it, if my game doesn't want to freeze. There we go. And then place one little thingy on each of the nodes. Now we just need some power for it. Now that we've made this thing that needs more power, let's connect it to the power source that we made earlier, the, the thermo generator. It's just a sink, water, and it boils it. Very simple, except this is the most basic one we can make. So now we get to make resources for the next tier. Now that we have the gold and the iron that we need, so what we do with this is, now that it's got some power in it, about half full, we take one gold, or one iron, one gold, and it's going to zap it, and it's going to turn it into two energized steel. What we do with this energized steel is we can take our generators and all of our cabling and all of these and use it to make the next tier. Not that one. This tier. With hardened capacitors with the energized steel and just energized steel in general. So now, with an and, also, another thing, if my game doesn't freeze, instead of just having to do ingot by ingot, we can also use blocks at a time, although it does take a lot more power. But now we have two blocks of this stuff, which I need a lot, and now I'm going to upgrade all of this. Now that I've got it all upgraded to the hardened stuff, which took way longer than I thought, Next, we need blaze rod, blaze mesh. I don't think we can do it with just blaze rods. And you don't need to level these up to do the next material. It's just, it's so much more convenient too because these transmit more power to the cube. So do these, and this generates more power. It's just going to take a lot more power. I don't, it does work with just one blaze rod. So now we can make blazing crystal, which we can. Uh, is just the next tier up. So now instead of this generating 150 RF a tick, it will now start generating, uh, where is it, magmatic? Thermo. It will now generate 300 FE a tick, which is even better. And it also works with the block, but the block takes, again, nine times more. So this takes 810,000 FE which once these things run out of storage, it is not that fun to wait for things to generate unless you have a lot of power. So now I'm going to go grind out blaze rods and uh, I level up everything again. So now that we've gotten this entire setup upgraded to the blaze rod level, now we get to do it with diamonds. And it's kind of quick until, until it drains out of power and it goes really slow. And it works with blocks of the thing too.
now that we got the tier that we want, we got a bunch of generators for the level we want. It's not the highest. There is more. There's two more levels. But also, I don't feel like going that high because to make the highest level, we need nether stars. And I don't have nether stars. Also, that's a lot of power. So we're just going to use the diamond level for now. And instead of generating, Aww. what, 80 FE a tick per windmill, we now get Aww. to generate... I think it's almost a thousand FE a tick from each of these generators when we do times the five that we have. So what it takes is I just need these this blazing crystal underneath it. It's uh, hotter than lava, so it will heat up the water faster. I take a sink. I'm just going to shove it right there. Some fluid pipes, which I don't have enough of to give it all water. And after this, and I grab my wrench, it should all generate. Oh, it's already full. This already generated 2 million FE. Now I just need to take it all and power everything. Generates 1,800 or 1,680 FE a tick times 5. So about 7,000 FE a tick. Which, that is so much faster than the maybe 500 we were producing before. Now, let's take a battery. Do I have any batteries? I do. I got one randomly. This one isn't even that high. So if I take this, not that, and fill it up, it can hold 10 million FE. And now the only thing that's being limited is the pipes. These pipes have a limit on how fast they can transfer. That's the limit that this is holding right now. Well, I say we successfully got power. And now I just gotta come up with something to use it all. We could launch nukes. 